and welcome back. Today I'm going to have a look at the C pen. It's an amazing little pen because it enables you to actually read, scan text, and actually puts it into this little pen here in text format, but also reads it back for you. So if you're struggling with reading information, this is a great little option, and with the dictionary also built into it, that just adds to the benefits. When you purchase the pen, I'll move that out of the way, you get earphones. Now the earphones are really handy because with the pen as well you can actually record live audio. But also you can use the headphones if you're actually reading back in an exam environment or somewhere where you need to be quiet because if you scan the text with the pen you can listen to it through the headphones rather than out on the mini speaker. Also it comes with a case here. Just a quick point on this case. Always place it in with the glass on the back as so and put it in because the back of it, I'll put that there, it's got a solid back so it will protect the glass bit better for you so always remember to do that but there's only one way you can put that in anyway also comes with a little mini usb as well which charges it and connects it to your computer or laptop or mac bear in mind with this take the text and save them on files actually on the c pen and then transfer them like a usb storage onto your laptop onto your computer or mac but also you can do the same with the audio files as well which is really handy but also you take a laptop with you somewhere you could sit in a the library then scan some text off and it scans it straight into a word processor or a document on your laptop so it could be word word pad text note I'll show you that as well now the pen gives you eight hours of scanning time and it takes roughly about three hours to fully charge also it's got eight gigs of storage so remember if you're saving audio as well because you might save it in mp3 or maybe WAV format if you want to transcribe it I'll show you that as well actually that's a separate using Office 365. It's got a built-in dictionary with Collins English Dictionary and Oxford Primary Dictionary you can choose as well. So, shall we get stuck right into it? So, first thing I'm going to do, obviously, see the power button here. This is where you turn it on, and it's indicated by a little red symbol. So, if I tap on it once, and there you go, it turns on. It's quite a bright screen, actually. Now, when you want to start it up, you get these options. Text Reader, Dictionary, Scan to File, record and settings now go to settings first because you need to choose your menu language now if i select it i'm happy with english but you've also got french and spanish okay if i click the little red button tap it once it brings us back to where we were before so look at that as a backup button all right if i click back up again if i go back into it i'm going to change the language again and i'm going to go back up and to English. There we go. Now, if you scroll down as we've got talking menu, you can turn the reading on or off. I turn the reading off, it repeats all the menus, and that's kind of handy if you suffer from visual impairment as well. But just use the left or right arrows to turn that off and on. If I turn it back on, there you go. Also, you've got the speed of the readback feature as it reads back to you there as well. You can change that left and right again. And you've got the volume underneath as well. I'm going to turn that up actually to 30. And then remember the red button to come back out of there. Scroll down, so that's all set up. Now you've got exam lock. Now, if you're provided this pen in an exam environment, what they to do, they'll select it and select lock. And they'll add a little pin number in there. So let me come back out of there. So it just disables options like dictionary within the pen. So if you're in an exam environment, you can't obviously use a dictionary. So it still helps you with the readback features. You can hear text read back to you and stuff. So I'm going to select back up I scroll down a bit more for you left or right handy which is really important because as you scan obviously you'll be scanning at different angles depending if you're left or right handed so I've got it on right handed because I scan that way and I'm going to click the red back up button again brightness again that's your preference date and time I haven't added yet because I've just opened it now auto shutdown could be useful now you might decide actually I need to turn off after five minutes so I'm going to click five minutes myself actually and that could save the battery as I said the battery should last around eight hours of scanning options for you you've got statistics of what your pen's done and software upgrade as well now if you want to run the wizard it's quite handy actually because it sets everything up for you straight away let me show you so talking menu I do not want so it doesn't tell me so it doesn't talk back the menus for me click the middle button English I want again you can choose French Spanish as well, but I'll stick it on English, click the middle button. British English, so different accents as well. You've got a Scottish accent there as well, and Australian. 
but again I haven't got cockney accents I'm gonna leave it on British right-handed which I am and the width is done so that's a quick way of setting it up now click the red button to come back out of there and then we can scroll to the top to where we started now the first option is to read text so when we scan text it will actually read it back for you and show you it on the screen so what we do what we're going to do is actually grab the actual manual that come with the pen and here we go so we'll use this as an example so I've got it on text reader so what I need to do is click the middle button and it will open up in a blank screen ready for me to scan now when you scan with this quick point here see the top you've got a little plastic option here it's quite strong but when that pushes down the light goes on it will start scanning okay you get used to this because you've got to do it at a certain angle and keep straight so I'm going to give it a go so I'm going to do actually the first line at the top there and just drag it along and there you go perfect and then I'll decide actually I want to do the end line perfect so then you can actually scan the text and have it read back now if I come here to the little up and down arrow I'm going to go up and I want to go to the beginning and I want to hear that again so click the middle button perfect now if I actually go up and select a specific word I might be struggling with so I'm going to select the word several now if I come and select menu here at the top you can see it gives me an option clear screen which I don't want to do because I want to keep that text but I'm going to select definition and select the middle button and there you go I've now got a dictionary for that word so if I click the middle button it will read back and if you click that middle button again it will also stop it for you and remember to go back click the red button and there you go click the red button again it takes me back to exactly where I was so I can change between words and choose where I want to read back from or check the dictionary. So I'm going to come back out with the red button and it takes us back to where we've begun. So that only puts the text on the screen for you, it doesn't actually save it on the pen. Now what I'm going to do is, before I go to the option where we can actually scan to file, I'm going to select dictionary. Because you might just want to check one specific word. So again, remember, click the middle button and it will bring up the screen again. Now important here, you choose the dictionary you want. Now you can see left or right arrow, I'm currently on English, so you can change that of course to French or Spanish, but I'm leaving it on English. But it's the right option I want to show you, Collins Dictionary, up or down. Now I could choose the Collins English Dictionary, or you might decide you want the actually Oxford Dictionary. I think the Oxford Dictionary has over 16,000 words and phrases as well, so I'll let you choose what you want there. But I'm going to leave it on the Collins. So what I've got to do now is scan. So let's scan a word, shall we? I'm going to scan button and there you go and if I click the middle button it will read back and click it to stop it so you can check the dictionary as well and use that specifically you don't have to scan text and do a word you can do specific words to check and again red button brings you out red button again so that's your dictionary done go down one now this is the one scan to file so anything I use this option to scan from a document maybe in the library doing research and you're grabbing quotes and stuff you could use this then you can transfer it to your PC or Mac as a file text file and access that information we're gonna give that a go so I've selected scan to file and select the middle button and it will open up for me now if I've done a file already I could select open file and I could even delete files I've got in there but important factor come down to scan settings and click the middle button make sure you're choosing your scan language and select reading settings as well so you can choose the read back feature the speed you want it read back as well or maybe as you scan you don't want it read back so you could turn that off while scanning but I'm just going to leave that on to show you if that's all right and then you've got their speed underneath and word pause so you can choose the amount of pause you want between each word as well and at the bottom there you've got your volume so again red button brings us out red button again so I'm now going to choose to scan to file by clicking that middle button do a new file and I'm just going to do that line here and there it is 
access to several. And you remember, I didn't turn it off to read back, so I left that on. So now that's saved to the actual pen. Remember, it's got eight gigs, so you can save a lot of storage. I'm going to come down. I'm going to do another line here. Let's do a few, shall we? So I'm going to do that one. And that one. And that one. Now, remember, you've got your headphones in at the top, and you can plug your headphones in right here at the top here. Then no one else will hear that as well. So that's really useful to use the headphones as well. Okay. So there we go. Got all that information. Now, before I actually put that into my PC, it automatically saves, by the way. I'm going to click the red button to come out of there. Click it again to come out of there. Because I want to do the recorder as well before we plug it in. So we can actually record. Could be a meeting, could be a lecture, could be in placements. You need to take down information. It's up to you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click the middle button on recorder. Now before you do anything else, I always recommend coming down to the bottom, select settings. I know it's a bit boring, but select file format. Choose your format. MP3 is more compressed. Wave is more raw better quality now if you want to save storage I mean you've got eight gigs on here anyway you probably use mp3 but I'll tell you why I'm using wave because I'm going to take this audio file upload it to office 365 and transcribe this audio into text so I need good quality sounds so I'm going to leave that on wave you don't have to do that if you don't want to do that it's just something I'm going to show you anyway so come back out of there that's all good then come down to file quality and I'll put it on high because, as I said, I need good quality. So come back out there with the red button. Perfect. Now I'm going to click the middle button. That's all set up. See recorder. Click the middle button. And click record. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to read just a little bit of this manual. See how it picks up. A text file might also be opened, edited, and saved via pen user interface at any time later. It is possible to open a text file and have the content used out loud. Sorry, read out loud, hyphen, like text reader, full stop. Now I'm going to press the stop button. And I'm going to click. I can click OK to carry on, but I don't want to. So I'm going to come out there with the red button. It automatically saves it. Can you see? So it's done. Come out there again. And there we go. So I've now got a scanned file that I actually added earlier. And I've now got an audio file. Now, if I come out with there, the red button. I'm now going to plug in the mini USB and plug this into my PC. So I'm going to choose keyboard. Let's have a look on the Mac. And first thing you need to do, obviously, is install your Connect desktop. Go to this link here. And once you've downloaded it, open it up, which I'm just doing now. And you might get this message. So just click OK. Come to your Apple top left select system preferences if you own a Mac you know this anyway go to security and privacy and at the bottom here select open anyway and select open and close it right so here's the app now we can start setting it up now if I come to the bottom left hand corner and go to the very beginning you can see my first option is application language to obviously choose the language you need You've got an option here where you can start minimised in tray bar, but your tray bar on the Mac is at the top and not like a PC, so bear that in mind. And if I come up here, you can actually see it there now. Alert from Connect Desktop Notifications. So I'm going to leave that off and select Next. Now you need your accessibility. For example, you can zoom in, maybe use a higher contrast and fonts. Top one, I'd leave default, but again, have a look at high contrast, see if that works better for you. Application size, again you can change up to looks like 160 if you've got visual impairment or you struggle to read text. But I'm going to pop that back down to 100. You've got your fonts here as well. So if I select Open Dyslexic, you can see the font there, it gives you an example underneath. But I want to leave it on the default, it's fine. And again you can change your font size here, letter spacing and also line spacing. Once you set that up, select Next. Now, if you're using the Bluetooth C Pen Connect BT10, then you can connect through Bluetooth. And what it enables you to do, you can actually scan off your document, scan it straight onto your Mac, the text using OCR, and it will also read it back automatically for you. 
but if that's a bit annoying for you, select that or leave it on depending on what you want to do. You can kind of proofread it as you scan, so it can be quite handy. And then you've got your scanning language, so I'm going to leave that on English and select next. Choose your voice. You've got a lot more choices than you have on the PC. So I'm going to scroll up, see if I can find the voice. I'm going to select Fiona and I'm going to come down here and select play. This is an example sentence. And then I can change the volume, voice pitch. Happy with that? Select next. You have a paid service called Connect Cloud if you want to pay additionally. It gives you a few extra options in the word games and using the dictionary and that. But it's still very usable without that paid service. So I haven't got that, so I'm going to select next. And this is where you, if you've got the Connect Bluetooth Pen BT10, you can use this option to connect it there. But I'm using a reader pen and I'm using a mini USB cable to connect. So I'm going to click select skip. And there we go, I'm ready to go. I'm just going to come up here and close this notification. Now, before we get stuck into the app, you've got another option on here. When I selected the pen, I selected the option that said keyboard. So what I'm going to do is minimize this. What that enables me to do, and I'll show you in this word document, I can then scan off a document and it will scan directly into this document. So I've got the pen now, and I'm now going to scan a sentence. And there we go, and it will scan straight into a document for you. So it's a great way to get notes up. You could be referencing, for example. Now I'm going to open up the app. Now I'm going to change my settings on the pen to U disk instead. So I'm going to reject it and then plug it in again. And I'm going to select U disk. Tap on it. And that enables then me to use my Connect Desktop and I can access the files on the reader pen. So if I minimize the app and close the Word document and don't save. You can see now on the right here, if I double tap it, I can now access the pen storage. You can use it like a flash drive if you want. And if I go to scan file, I've got multiple files in there that are scanned. And I've also got an audio, a couple of audio files I recorded as well from the previous video. Now I could manipulate these manually as you can see and drag them onto me on my Mac, put them in certain folders. But if I open up the app, I've got an option here that says new file. I'm going to tap on it. I need to find the storage for the pens. I'm going to select choose file. I'm going to scroll down. Yeah, MacBook Pro. And select the drive here. And there you go. I've now accessed the storage of the pen. I want to open up scan file. And I'm going to select that one to open. And select create. You've now imported it into your app. Let's do another one new file, I'm going to select choose file and let's do the second one and again select create so there you go, I'm just going to import the two there for now now if I come to the right here if I actually tap on a word and select play at the bottom it will play back for me when charge is selected reader pen works in standalone mode just as if not and select stop you can change your settings again here on the left if you want so I can change the volume and the speed to fast or slower. Also on the right here, I can clear the text box that you see. I can also copy all text or undo it. So if I click little X, if I come back up here, it's cleared all the text off. You can see it's disappeared. It doesn't actually delete it from your pen. So don't worry about that. So I'm going to click undo. And while we're in this little window, when you select this little icon, go to edit mode. That enables you then to edit the text, so I could put, and there you go. So then what I could do is, I could highlight a word, do a right click, and I could choose to play from there. I could do, repeat that word, play from here, play paragraph or selection, or play entire text, or just play word. Scanning. So I'm gonna go back up to the option there where it says, takes me back to reader mode. So if I now come up here and select selected for example, do a right click, I've also got the option to do that as well. So that's your first option. Now if I come to the left here, if you want to rename them at all, you can choose the rename option there. And 
and select rename so that way you can organize them like a filing cabinet now on the left here it's got a dictionary but you need to use the connect cloud account sign up for the dictionary option so I can't show you that but what I'm going to show you I'm going to come back here I'm going to go to the top and go back to edit mode now I'm going to highlight a word and do a right click and I've got an option here that says add word to list grab certain words and create files to organize it could be certain words regarding a specific subject or it could be words you struggle with it's entirely up to you so I'm going to select create new I'm going to give it a title I'll just put useful words you can have color tags as well which are really handy so when it gives you a list of them you'll be able to identify them quicker through the color tags again I can't sync to the cloud because again you need the account choose your language at the bottom there and when you're happy select create now when that actually goes I'll show you quickly if I come to the left you've got a vocabularies option here tap on it and there's my file for tap on it and you can see the words I've added here on the right and I could add additional words as well immune hearing and so on now as you've created your little word lists gives you an option in here use certain word games that helps you maybe remember the definition of the word how to pronounce it so I'm going to tap this little icon here and it brings me up three options so the first option is just to listen to the word back so that way you can hear how it's pronounced click play immune and then you go to the next word hearing and so on selected once you're done come back up the top there for me so that's the first option now second option explain the meaning of the word so you've got to type in what you think is the meaning of the word so I'm going to type in there I'm using more of a synonym than a definition of the word but if you come top right hand corner here and again you have to use that connect cloud account and then it gives you the definition of the word you can go through each word and it gives you a way of learning them come back out of there again click it one more time and the end option where it finds a spoken word in a haystack it will speak out certain words and you have to identify them so it could be really handy for so many options you might have to learn certain words as part of your studies so I'm going to select it wait for the number to go down hearing hearing you tap on it immune I'm going to tap on immune selected and selected so it's a good way to get you focus on specific words and learn them so top right hand corner takes me back out of there now where I originally was if I go back up to here file browser that's where I originally was and remember I imported them in you can just come down to vocabularies and select at the top there create your own vocabularies there as well if you want to I'm going to cancel that and if you don't want that list remember at the end there I can remove it now I'm going to come up to this next option which is word uses statistics now on your pen it's got a file which I'll show you in a minute that stores certain words for example words you might have looked up in a dictionary that you struggle with and the reason it does that is because you can import them into here or open up manually and then you can see where you struggle with certain words you can use it for tutor, teacher or just for yourself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that file by selecting import and remember I need to find it so I'll give it a title stat1 and again I can't use the sync to cloud but if I come down here I'm going to select choose and let's find that file I'm still connected to my pen so if I come back here select the drive again and that's what I'm looking for so I'm going to select open and I'm going to import it into connect desktop and you can see now it's appeared here tap on it I'm going to come to the right make sure you choose your language happy with that you've got dictionary lookup so if I tap on it it brings all those words out that I struggled with or looked up in my dictionary and that way you can have a look at the words and see what words you're struggling with you can change how many words you want to see using this option here as well but I'll leave it on 10 so what I can do with the words as well now 
I can create a word list from the results. Or if I just right click, I can select add word list and send it to those word files I created earlier. I could create a new one or I might just say I'm going to add every word to my useful words list. But I want to create a new one. I'm going to call this words I struggle with and select create. So now watch. Come back up to your vocabularies option and now I've got my list there and I can start working with those words that I struggle with. Now on the left here Again, you can change all your font size, letter spacing, line spacing. You can choose maybe you want background colour there as well. And underneath there, that earlier, you can change your voice there if you want as well. Again. And select all settings. And that way it will list all your settings for you, like we did when we set it up originally as well. Click the arrow to come back out of there. And top left hand corner will take me back to my file browser. And if you're going to use the connect, BT10 pen which is your Bluetooth one select up here and you've got an option there to find it within the application so that's one option so I want to close that app and remember I recorded something as well so I'm going to grab one of those recordings anyone would do I'm going to use that one a text file might also be opened edited and saved via pen and select pause and I'm going to quit music